thing picked up, baby. Woo! Way to go! Ever since we got the Sledgehammer Electric Turbo Dyno tuned by our friend Ray McNew at McNew's Automotive, where we discovered an issue with the torque converter, we've been cranking on getting the thing to the track. New tires, a trans temp gauge, getting the charging circuitry working, and some safety items were on the menu. We got that stuff sorted, we were lucky enough to get some halfway decent weather before the summer heat kicked into high gear, and so we hopped in the car and drove 60 miles to beautiful Mason Dixon Dragway, where we met up with our resident hot shoe, Jason Smith. We didn't know what to expect with that hurt torque converter, and well, if you ain't breaking, you ain't racing. We still managed to set a new electric turbo record. Check it out. And what is it now? It's an LTD. I know, but... What's a small block for? It's 365. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your uh, reaction to this. That's a Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a problem. Seriously? Drive tire cars in three or four. I think you folks are about ready. We're going to do a test hit old motor. Josh is going to tell me when to bring the street tire. Never in my life. It's the only one like it. Never sees it to amaze me. Especially with him. <laughs> <laughs> yep, not a problem there. I think he was uh, a little shocked when he seen the electric turbo. He wasn't quite sure what to think. I believe he said, never in my life. was even slower than last time but that's all good well that left like a fat woman being asked to step away from an all-you-can-eat buffet most likely the sprag in the converter is done which prevents the stator from doing its job and multiplying torque basically it's no longer a torque converter but just a fluid coupling without the torque multiplication it doesn't even have enough power to get up on the two-step when on the brake this is what it looked like a year ago when we did our first electric turbo drag tests can see it in the log. See how the white RPM trace just shoots up and stays right at 3200 RPM? Not this time. Well, it be what it be. Let her eat. left a lot harder because the glove box door opened up and everything flew out but uh it it laid over oh i don't know not too far into the run like it like it just lost everything 
everything. So I went ahead, turned the power off, and then just, you know, kind of coasted it, looked at everything, checked the gauges. We checked everything out, and it looked to be a glitch from the Arduino that controls the ESC. The code gets flaky at 100%, so we backed off the power a little bit. We have one last chance to get a clean pass. Wait just a second on the trans brake. Actually, if you want, what I could do, I could either go on it a little earlier, like right as I stage, and then go on it, or if you want me to just wait for the light and then just wait for the light. Don't worry about reaction yeah, time. It's gonna be less confusing, I think. pass that time <laughs> that thing was just it, it was straight it was pulling it, it was just it is absolutely amazing I, I've never driven anything like that that does what it does with this turbo setup hey you know what I don't know does it make any noise can you hear it you can't hear a thing it's like completely quiet you just hear the engine and you just feel it pulling the whole way like the whipple was like screaming the whole it was like a velociraptor yeah and oh, there's no down. like you don't hear there's any blow off here. or anything it is just it's just so quiet it just keeps on pulling and pulling and you just you know you would never know what's under the hood <laughs> well i'm just glad we got a really clean pass that I mean, was that's... a great pass well we've got our work cut out for us new converter meth injection more power stay tuned subscribe and thanks for watching Thank you.